Thank you for coming to all my sessions. My name is Ken Shimon from Japan. I'm sorry, I can speak English a little. English is difficult for me. Uh, uh, this session is hacking with ARM device on Linux. The target ARM device are Android, Raspberry Pi, single board computer, and Chromebook and any ARM devices. Uh, this time, I will talk in user's point of view, not developer. I will talk three main contents. Point one, customize ARM Android and Chromebook and Raspberry Pi. Point two, customize Windows and Intel emulation while on ARM device. Point three, customize old ARM device and write devices. Uh, I belong to uh, Tokaido Linux user group in Japan and my network availability. This presentation, uh, slide share and PDF for my homepage and uh, I printed this presentation material about 30. If you want this material, I please take it. Uh, my self introduction. Uh, my pen name is Kappa, uh, website, uh, Twitter client, and my slide share. This uh, entered test uh, point one Linux distribution on Android. Point three hacking with smartwatch. Point three Windows and Wine on ARM device. Uh, point four presentation in Asia, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Japan, and most uh, Asia, any country. My activity open source conference in Japan uh, and Tokaido Linux users group. Uh, in Japan, uh, the one. One month in point one hill. In uh, today's session, uh, uh, easy to use uh, remote desktop and Debian and uh, Open Cocoon and Android. Uh, this is install application only. Next, we Windows and Inter emulation on ARM device and Linux distribution on change uh, Next, uh, the OS replaces the ARM device and package source and NetBSD. Uh, this area is this uses desktop office server and hacking and the right and distributor. I think uh, uh, this is ARM benchmark score for my uh, Boeing benchmark. Uh, this is ARM um, Cortex A roadmap, and this is my uh, Boeing benchmark. Uh, the last reply is 1,700. Uh, but uh, Amazon Fire and uh, Jetson TK1 and Tegra K1 and Cortex A72 is uh, like this. Uh, in Intel devices, uh, three years ago, specs is as uh, now for ARM devices. Uh, customize Android. I think uh, hacking Android, is, this is an easy story. Uh, a, first Android and 2.3 Android is difficult to hacking. Uh, th there is no root devices. Uh, but uh, the web kit, web browser has a security bug to boot it. Uh, so this device is difficult, but uh, depressed Android OS. Next, uh, Android 4 and Android 4.2 about Nexus 7. Uh, this is a, a unlock bootloader that is easy to unlock and boot up devices. So, uh, Nexus 7 is easy to do to everyone and replace OS Android. Uh, from now, uh, Android 4.5 is uh, easy to do to and OS replaces in Android. Uh, many Chinese tablets and many rooted apps we have. Only install ap application and only install uh, uh, operating system like a Firefox and 
Android and Ubuntu Touch. Uh, first time uh, I introduced Debian Node on Android. Uh, this is installed only Debian application on Android. Uh, <coughs> Uh, Debian Node is a change root and X server application on Android. It can install Google Play Store and APK file only. Debian can use desktop, office, server, and also any application on Android. Next, Debian Kit and Complete Linux. Uh, this is a rooted application, but any distribution like uh, uh, Debian, Ubuntu, OpenSUSE, Pedra, Gentoo, and Edge, and also any distribution installed on Android. This is uh, terminal software, but you, if you want to use X server on Android, X server SE and VNC server. Next, uh, this is Nexus root toolkit. And, uh, Today, Android devices can use easy unlock and look kit application. Uh, in, this is a Windows application. And, uh, connect Android to USB cable and uh, push button only. Install it. And uh, uh, next. Uh, if you want X server on Android, this is X server SE uh, to use on Android, uh, like uh, XFCC. So, in terminal, uh, one single command input and uh, this application use X server. Next, Android own build status. Uh, this is Android, any own build operating system. If you want to factory or science demo, and any Android OS can use. Uh, this is science demo. Science demo is original own build Android operating system. Um, this operating system supported about 220 devices. <coughs> if you want Android Google security, so let's test it. Sign demo. Next, Firefox OS. And you can still use Firefox OS about Nexus 7 and any devices. Uh, if you use uh, unlock bootloader and multi-run bootloader. Uh, this is a zip file only. Uh, download zip file and boot multi and install. So three step only. You can use uh, Firefox OS. And uh, Ubuntu Touch, Ubuntu Touch uh, is zip uh, file. And uh, install Android application. Uh, this is the Nexus series only. Next, uh, emulation, uh, integration, and Windows application on um, Linux device. Uh, this is my test of uh, inter emulation on ARM um, device, like a curve, um, executed desktop, DOS box, box, and any emulation. Uh, fastest emulator is executed desktop. This much, this much integral K1, uh, 2.1 gigahertz, uh, can emulate Pentium 4, 1.8 gigahertz. But QM is Pentium second, 266 megahertz. Both box is Pentium 2, 200 megahertz. Uh, this is very, very fast emulation. Uh, and QM emulation in Intel 
on Android device. I test uh, Cube on uh, Windows 2000 on QM ARM devices. This and NetBSD Teoplay live image on ARM Chromebook. Uh, Boeing benchmark uh, uh, ARM devices and Intel devices is equal, but emulation speed is Intel devices and ARM devices is one uh, is too slow. Uh, I think if integer point is ARM equal Intel devices, but floating point uh, ARM device is too slow. Uh, this score, uh, I think, a uh, floating point on score. Next, intervention on Android. Uh, you can operate Windows or NetBC or any OS like uh, use Android uh, QM emulation. This is Windows 200, uh, 2000 on Android, Nexus 7. And NetBC live image on Nexus 7. And any emulation box QM, DOSBox, Rainbow PC emulation, and uh, if you want Mac OS, uh, VMAC Mini or Basics 2, uh, you can use uh, emulation any OS in Android okay, on Android. Next, uh, this is Exaget Desktop, and uh, fastest emulation on our devices. Uh, this is benchmark for my benchmark. Uh, original ARM benchmark is here. Uh, Intel emulation uh, score is here. Uh, about 29.4 speed. This is very, very fast. Uh, Exact desktop on Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi 2. Uh, this is, uh, I test Raspberry Pi 2 on Windows emulation, but uh, this speed MMX Pentium 200 megahertz or amps. Uh, original score is must be by the very very slow, and emulation speed uh, <laughs> emulation speed is very very slow. Uh, you can use you can, you cannot use uh, you are uh, use this Windows application. And those box, those box can use Windows, old Windows and MS DOS. Uh, this is Android on Windows emulation. And iOS and JavaScript in those box. And any Windows, old Windows can move the uh, mobile device and uh, JavaScript on those box. Uh, next, customize ARM Chromebook. Uh, this is ARM Chromebook, but you can easily install it to Debian and Ubuntu distribution. Uh, uh, the single command line only. So, if you have Chromebook, let's test. Let's use to Ubuntu and Debian. And this is install. Uh, Chrome events on Chromebook. This is uh, events and Debian is the USB stick memory type. Uh, in this one, um, change it only uh, SSD. This one use USB memory on events and Debian system. Uh, next, uh, sync client Linux distribution on ARM devices. Uh, Name the Open Cocoa. Uh, Open Cocoa is my friend, my uh, distributor, Mr. Shimada. Uh, this is uh, the smallest computer on remote sync client operating system. Uh, this is uh, the first Pentium generation machine, can move Windows 8 and Windows 10. So, any learning uh, address. 32 memo megabit memory and 150 megabit disk operation use. This is a 
only world one operating Linux distribution. Let's use it. And finally, customize the old and end of life ARM devices. And this is an end of life ARM devices. I think three point of ARM end of life devices. First end of life official support of um, Android and Linux distribution. And this is next second end of life Linux kernel and C library. Uh, C library demand of Linux kernel version. If it is not supported with mainline kernel to ARM devices, this device will not support it to C library and others. This distribution will be not able to upgrade. So this ARM device is end of life. Third end of life, I think, package source and NetBSD. Package source and NetBSD is not uh, dependent on Linux kernel. So uh, in Japan, NetBSD users group uh, supported 20 years old device and any machine. Uh, first time, change root on ARM Linux. Uh, about Android and Linux device can uh, operate it to create new root directory under Linux environment. They start independent, different version of operating system. Next, package source on end of life ARM devices. Uh, this is a NetBSD package manager. Uh, this is a not dependent on Linux kernel. So you can use any devices on ARM devices and Intel devices. Uh, this is NetBSD on new and old end of life ARM and other devices. Like, uh, uh, old Macintosh type Linux and many new ARM single board devices and Sega NetBS, uh, Sega Dreamcast on NetBSD and those and any uh, old mobile app. Uh, conclusion uh, point one: Customer uh, Linux operating system application, uh, like uh, Intel emulation and multi-platform application. Point two, customize um, Android and Chromebook devices. Easy to install Linux distribution on Android. Point three, customize remote desktop C client. Point four, customize end of life ARM um, devices. Uh, this is my next presentation. That's all for. Thank you very much. We still have ten minutes of time. If you want to talk about one of the sites here, you can still go. Or we can have. If you guys have any questions, you can just ask. You can do it.